The health care showdown continues on Capitol Hill. A key test vote this morning, setting up final passage on Christmas Eve. Bloomberg's Brian Weiss joins us now from Washington with more on that story. Brian, good afternoon. Hi, Mark. Well, senators trudged through the Capitol snowstorm this weekend for a 1 a.m. vote early this morning. They gave the bill a thumbs up with no votes to spare, passing it 60 votes to 40. Now, that was really a test vote, but it indicates Democrats will have enough votes for a 7 p.m. passage on Christmas Eve when most of our viewers will, of course, already be sipping their eggnog. Now, the bill costs $871 billion, and it's projected to cut the deficit by $132 billion bucks over a decade. To pay for it, the bill would raise the Medicare payroll tax from 0.5% to 0.9%, and it would up taxes for device and drug makers, plus a whopping 40% tax on luxury health care plans. Now, those taxes would likely start in 2011, but most coverage changes wouldn't take effect until 2014. Moments ago at a news conference, the American Medical Association said it supports the bill, and Majority Leader Harry Reid defended the plan. We stand closer than ever to making it possible for every American to afford to live a healthy life. Never have we been so close to reforming America's broken health insurance system. Now, even as Republicans maintain the bill is just too costly, the bill has no public option and it requires Americans to have insurance. So Wall Street is betting that's a winning combination for insurance companies. Some of the top health insurance uh, insurers surging today, Mark. Brian, what about other businesses? What's this going to cost them? Yeah, there's a stiff penalty in here for businesses of 50 workers or more that choose not to provide health care for their employees. Those companies will have to pay 750 bucks per employee, which means that a 50 person company would have to pay roughly $38,000 in new fees. There are, though, some tax breaks for smaller businesses. And Brian, it, is this a sure thing? How's this going to be received in the House? Because the Senate vote was not the last deal here. We're going to have to go through this maybe two more times. Yeah, that's for sure. This debate is far from over. Once it clears the Senate in theory this week, they'll have to come up with a compromise with the House bill. Now, that includes some big differences, such as a public option, which is a total non-starter for some of the moderates in the Senate. That means that the House will probably have to play ball with the more moderate Senate if it wants health reform, or health reform of any kind to pass. Bloomberg's Brian Weiss in Washington. Brian, thanks.